Previously on The Quilt Project, a two-day challenge saw the quilters split into teams to create all the accoutrements needed for a tea party. While the judges went mad for Becky and Emily's Mad Hatter theme, Shirley and Amanda's Beauty and the Beast theme turned out to be more of a beast than a beauty. Before we said goodbye to Shirley and Amanda at the Tea for Two elimination, the top six sat down for the next in-house challenge. to let you all relax from the competition. And what we want you to do is we want you to think of what is your dream vacation? Where do you want to be? Right now? Dead. <laughs> yes. So, on the pieces right of paper, now, I and I want you to write down what is your dream vacation spot? Dream vacation. Money is no object. You don't have to worry about the kids or the pets or the house or the job. Or just where would you go? Okay. Australia. Australia. Ireland. Ooh. Ireland. Because I've always loved um, like seeing the lush green and the castle ruins and stuff. And um, Many years ago, my one of my cousins did all of our genealogy, and we had a lot of Irish roots, which I thought was cool. And we actually found that our family is connected to some castle ruins over in Ireland, and so I've always, like, since being very young and learning that, like, had this dream to go there, to see that castle sitting on the cliffs, because we've seen pictures, you know, on the internet and stuff, but, like, to actually be there. Breckenridge. Galapagos Islands. My dream vacation destination is Galapagos Islands because of animals. I, I travel anywhere there's animals and that's where I base how I base my vacations. Okay, so we're pretty much going all over the world. <laughs> now, this competition is not always fun and games, but tonight it is. We're going to play a game. And in tonight's challenge, there'll be no winner, and there will be no loser. It's a good thing. <laughs> we are playing Traveler's Dice today. So we're gonna see who's gonna go oh, where tonight. Gonna send us to where we wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the beginning, we, he's passing out embroidery floss. Everybody's going to take, yeah, yeah, just pick out three and take it. She gets all the <laughs> <laughs> really? Ooh. Really? Ooh. Now, in the center of the table is the kitty. So everybody's going to take a turn and you will roll the three dice. On this, it will either allow you to trade with a neighbor, and it can be a neighbor left, right, or a neighbor that's across from you. It will allow you to take one from the kitty, or it will be hold, which means you do nothing and you pass on. It was much more relaxing and much less stressful than anything else. So after, being stressed all day, it was nice. <laughs> Kitty, Hold. Kitty and oh, trade. trade. So you pick one from here, you, you need to get to trade with one. Okay. Well, I like this. I like That's that. fine, but there are two blues and two greens. And you have to trade, trade one with I have to trade one with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mother, think wisely. You, you know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, two yeah. trades and a kitty. And you're okay. trading twice trading with Emily. Emily. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If they both face the same way, yeah. yeah. the first one on your right. Oh. And kitty. Take and one and take one. one and then okay, trade. Okay, I'll take those first. Let's see. You gotta trade them. Trade them. Oh. Yeah. So, so you're, you're losing. I don't want to trade with but, them. But you can you take one from the kitty, the kitty and use oh. that. Don't be rude. Yes, yes. Don't be rude. Yes, we do. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. I try not to get attached to them. I mean, like, I had no clue what was in store for them. I figured we were gonna have to use them, so I really didn't want like gross color. 
or anything like that. Um, but like I couldn't even really tell you half the colors I lost because I wasn't really like, I was just hoping they looked together, looked well together by themselves. Okay. Where's the other guy? Yeah. Me? I could have used those colors, but they stole all of my colors and I got dull colors. I want the white one. Then give me the green one. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked the purple. You do, but the green one would be like another <laughs> two purples. Right. Ha, it's it's over. Yes. And they both were whole. Both holes. Oh. Oh. I like that one in there. Oh. Okay. Well, I only have okay. Four. Now you have your threads. Your threads are going to be used in your next challenge. And the embroidery has to represent a dream vacation. But there is a twist to it. Oh, it might not be ours. I want everybody <laughs> to pick up their dream vacation and pass it to the person on your left. Where is this place? Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> really? And now I got some place in Colorado. I don't even know anything about Colorado except for the snow and mountains. Personal one was Colorado, but I didn't get Colorado because you know it got switched off. I ended up with Ireland. And that's not so bad because my colors are kind of muted and dull. I have Swiss Alps, and I think the colors that I've got. Can do that and I've got a lot of googling to do but I'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't get to do Ireland. Nope, nope. I have Australia but I'm excited for that. Elliot uh, is hey, going no. to tell this. you what the challenge is but that is your dream vacation and your color palette. Essentially you have the challenge in front of you now. The fourth challenge is called Life's a Tapestry, and you're gonna be working with hand embroidery to create the dream vacation of the person on your left. Yeah. Not only that, you must utilize every single one of the colors you won today. Regardless of whether they fit your theme, or your location, or your preferences, they will have to be incorporated somehow into your final design. Finally, you're gonna be making these as wall hangings, so make sure that they are sleeved. Very important. I'll be handing out the final um, rules, but that's pretty much it. Good luck. I think if people don't know like the place that they got, it might be kind of hard. Um, you know, like Becky was saying, she's never even heard of, was it Breckenridge? So that could be hard, but we are also live in a day and age where we have a lot of great visual resources. So I think you can make anything work. Welcome to the fourth gallery show inside the classroom. Your pieces are being exhibited, so let's go check out what you guys have created. Okay, can do it. Okay, now we get pictures here. Wow! Wow! Oh man, I'm totally different. All four are totally different. Oh my goodness. Edelweiss. You put Edelweiss. You put bullions in yours too. I, did. I love bullions. They're kind of a pain in the rear, aren't they? I know they, they are. Fun. Oh, now, did she you paint that? that? Yes. <gasps> it's got a lot of hand painting on it. What were your Does colors? it look like Australia? Oh, you have a yes. boomerang. Well, well her colors are whatever's in there. Yeah. Oh, because that were all your colors. See, so you had a lot of colors. I had six. So, Australia is a big continent, and everything that's big on it, the people go to see is all spread out. So I couldn't like just pick one place. So I was an idiot and picked like five different things to feature in my wall hanging. Um, so it took a lot of time, but I was I was happy with it. Oh look, you made all different oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I love her trees. I do too. Oh, yeah. 
I like her little house, her little Swiss house with the little Swiss thing on it. <laughs> but look at her quilting too. Oh, look, it's she's the, got the, the. Oh, you do the Swiss flag. Look at you, Terry. It was Swiss Alps, so I just thought mountains, and I just looked at pictures and pictures and pictures until I figured out how to put it together and little pieces of anything Swiss is on there. Okay, look, it's fancy. a Please, you're getting fancy. See, Terry, you're getting fancy. Oh, you have something on the back. Oh, yeah. What? Whoops. Took well, it it's going to oh. be our home thing. Pretty. What's the? I got Ireland. I had four colors. Green, blue, purple, and brown. And I thought, perfect. That's Ireland. <laughs> I have no idea what Ireland's about. So I started researching and I found out that it was part of our family uh, heritage. So I thought I'm going to do a piece that's traditional, that looks like Ireland, but that has something, it's something I could hang on my wall. So that's where I started. So I loved it. It was fun. I've always wanted to do stump work, which is the little three-dimensional flowers. I love to do that kind of, I mean, I've, I've always wanted to do it. I just never did. So I decided to do that. And I got, I, it was fun because it was creative. It was all handwork, and I love to do handwork. And so I dyed my netting, and I, I don't know. I just had fun with it. It was really fun. Oh, oh there's a little oh, moose. Okay. Look, it's got mooses on it. The trees. And the bear. Oh, there's a bear. Moose and deer and there's bear. a tree. Oh my god, oh look at your little skis, they're so cute. <laughs> you did good, Becky. I liked my piece. Um, if you, I had a rough time because it was such a specific location. It was Breckenridge, Colorado. And if you go online, just to see exactly where it was, because who the heck knows where it is, um, the town was a main focus, and that's what I had focused on. And, um, I'm not sure how I could have changed anything to show that it was Breckenridge, Colorado versus any other town, USA or Canada. So I, I like my piece and I spent way too much time on it. <laughs>Everybody got somewhere they did not want to go yeah. and colors they did not want to have. And so that is that is where we are. I'm glad I didn't participate in this. I would have been like, what? <laughs> You're like, I don't want to go there. Oh. oh, so they had to piece and embroider. They had to use hand embroidery with those threads in some way yeah, in so, the piece. So the rest of it So was... it wouldn't have to necessarily be pieced. It could be uh, a whole could, cloth. Right. It could be any any way uh, they interpreted it as long as it reflected the place, place and, and then had their your, colors with the hand thread, embroidery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this yeah. person that initially did this wanted to go to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Which they, and you knew that because it said Edelweiss. Yes. She does very nice stitching. Yes, it is beautiful stitching. Very, very The trees nice are very stitching. good, yes. Mm -hmm. Or at yeah. least the pine trees. Mm -hmm. I guess they're all trees. So the only quilting is actually the crosses. Mm -hmm. not Pillowcase a, binding. Mm -hmm. But not a fan of her execution. Yeah. Cat ripples. And yeah, it's, it's not laying flat. But technical is the least thing we worry about. Creativity is, is what the most. is the most, okay. and originality. Okay. Love the embroidery. The embroidery is beautiful and very, very well executed. Um, it doesn't lay really flat. It it needs it needs quilting in it to to do the job. Um, the tying, not a, I agree. I'm not a fan of that, but I love the embroidery and being that's what they had to do. And I knew right away it was Switzerland, so this person met the criteria. It's delightful. <laughs> I, I'm required to say that every time. So it is right, the, the um, embroidery, which I've never done and, and hope never to do. Oh, I know. Uh, I love doing embroidery. Uh, is very nice. Um, the knots, eh, whatever, they don't really bother me too much. 
Um, reminds me of my first quilt, which we tie um, instead of quilting. And um, I'm not real fond of the solid browns. I'm not real fond of solids, but that's just me. I also agree this embroidery is excellent. And I teach embroidery as well as do embroidery. This is excellent. I could tell just by looking at it that it was Switzerland. It is beautiful. Um, it does, again, it does not lay flat. It needs more quilting. And I also agree that this would have been nicer, I believe, both of the pieces if they had been tonals and not just flat color. I think that would have added a great deal to the quilt. I would have liked to have seen a lot more quilting on it. But overall, it's, it's very nice. It meets the criteria. Well, up with the moose, so I'm guessing Alaska. Could be Jackson Hole. Could be a place in Canada. Yeah. Not real sure. It's north. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's cold. <laughs> and it's and cold. It's cold. It is north of Virginia. Moose quilted in. A tree. Mm -hmm. Trees quilted in. They did uh, did extensive um, there. embroidery here, mm -hmm. huh? And she used her threads to outline. Match stick quilting. Mm -hmm. What? Match stick. Match stick quilting. To give it some texture. This, it looks like they struggled to get the colors in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which, yeah, I, I think you would. Yeah, for the blue, and especially the pink. Well, I'm, the orange, and mm -hmm. I mean, it just. But I think with the colors, they use them appropriately. I agree. I do. I agree. I would have struggled with that. Mm -hmm. I would have made a fire. <laughs> that would be a, a good You know, because if it's going to be cold and you're going to have all those bright colors. Mm -hmm. But I also think it's a really good use of brightening up. Because mm -hmm. the little row would be brighter than in the mountains or anything like that. You know, and, and that could be the lighting inside the building. You know, the upstairs is red. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what that means. <laughs> the yeah. red light district of yeah. the north. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's where the moose is coming from. That's why it's pretty happy. <laughs> where is it? That's what I was going to say. On the so previous piece, we knew immediately right. where it was. Yeah. Yeah. And this, we know that it's cold. We know that it's further north than where we are. But this is actually, Wait. where is it? Banff or Jasper. This is Colorado. Well, that works. I just but I don't think there's really simple. anything that that distinctively calls out Colorado. They could have had a little a guy smoking pot or something. <laughs> I didn't, or, I or didn't notice with it sitting pot. over there, there's green and then there's this rock of the mountain here. I did not notice that sitting mm -hmm. over there. And maybe that's where the moose is going too. Yeah, I, I couldn't yeah. see that delineation of color. It's very subtle. Mm -hmm. I like the quilting on it with the different animals that's, yeah, yeah. and the trees and that. That's very clever. Um, I would have had difficulty coming up with the use of the embroidery. I, I'm impressed by that. I think that's great. It's yeah. delightful. <laughs> but what else would I say? So actually the quilting is kind of subtle. The moose here, and there's a moose over here that's got a different perspective on it, and he's, um, he's uh, baying, whatever mooses do, Bo bugle. There he's bugling. And um, I, don't, I don't know, there's more moose up there. Uh, but I think it's very nice. I like the embroidery I used to outline the uh, houses and the form the windows and stuff. So I thought it worked out pretty well. I like the picture within the frame. Uh, it looks to me like it's matted, and I think that's very, very nicely done. I love the quilting. I love the stars. Um, and I also like the use of bringing the white down, the thread painting, to make it not look so linear. Um, the embroidery is very nice. Uh, again, I would have had a difficult time coming up with some way of using these colors. Uh, they did a very, very nice job. I like the matchstick. Um, it highlights the moose a whole lot more. And there's also bear in with the moose. Very nicely done. Alrighty. Oops. Oops. Can we go this way? Yeah. 
Australia. Mm -hmm. And see, this one, you knew right away. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's a little black, yes. Sydney Opera House. Mm -hmm. Oh, now see, from here I thought that was a boat with some unusual sails. Oh, interesting. But then we have the things over here. Tie me down. Mm -hmm. See, they tied the kangaroo down with <laughs> embroidery stitches. Look at all the different stitches in there. Right? That is very nice. Pieced. Mm -hmm. I love the embroidery That's very on this. nice. Painted. Mm -hmm. oh, Look at all yeah, the techniques yeah. in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It should probably have been an Australian passport and not a United States of America But it's passport. a U.S. person who wants to go there. Oh, uh, well, yeah, perhaps you're right. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps you're right. I'm right. Perhaps you're right. So this is a Australian motif painted on there. It's an Aboriginal. With those dots, the Aboriginal, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And cool actually, so they have some these. of that Aboriginal fabric that's out. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. that but would... to make your own, if you don't have it, that's yeah. really, really smart. Yeah. 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 Look at the use of this. Look at those forms. Is this a turtle? It's a turtle. I am in love with all these stitches. Look, that yeah, is they are a, cute. the bullion stitch. That is hard to execute, and that's they did a cute. beautiful job. That's that's a tough one to learn. Mm -hmm. It is. Well, this is very tough. certainly a beautiful uh, rendition of the barrier reef mm -hmm. with the embroidery. Oh, this is stuff I mean, laying on the table. Mm -hmm. So this is like it. a postcard then, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Person need to tighten their top tension. Mm -hmm. That's, that's I'm something not I learned you recently. Look, I'm not going <laughs> to let you look at any of my clothes. I learned recently if, if yeah, this is right. the way the tension looks, it's an issue top with the top thread. thread. Mm -hmm. If the nubbies and everything are on this side, it's an issue with the bottom mm -hmm. thread. Yeah. The same or the top thread's too tight. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it is nice. And then they, this is like applicator. So many different mm -hmm. techniques on mm -hmm. this. Well, and just in embroidery alone, which yeah. was the majority of the mm -hmm. talent yeah. is yeah, embroidery yeah. and yeah. this is what a pistol pistol stitch yeah where you take a long stitch and, and then do French knot yeah. on the top I was trying to remember the name of it that is like the perfect one for you this is oh, this right is... up your alley the background fabric good That's choice yes yeah. yeah. perfect good choice not sure about the background fabric so much. I agree so solid. So I this agree. could have been a cloud Fabric. Cloudy fabric. This yeah. could have been real grass, probably, mm -hmm. but hey, what can you do? Well, and had it been real grass, though, these stitches might have Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they wanted to make sure that the kangaroo stood out. So I, this, this doesn't bother me all that much. That could have been, they could have taken some clouds or something. Yeah. But even if it was a, a tonal like mm -hmm. this, that might have been, yeah. But as far as creativity goes, oh, top, top notch, top. like all over, yeah, top notch, top. absolutely. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love the embroidery. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. We knew right away where it was from. Love it. It's really delightful. Oh, we got a real one. It's, <laughs> it's the it's the most delightful one yet. And I really like the, hand, the painting of the Aboriginal designs on the boomerang and these uh, Aboriginal designs. Uh, and uh, other than that, it's delightful. Top notch. Execution is wonderful. I love the bullion st uh, stitches that they did. Those are perfect and those are very hard to do. Love the little kangaroo and the fusible applique that they did there. Um, it, it's just great. Knew exactly where it was from. The Aboriginal painting is just adds so much to it. I, I just think it's great. Yeah. Oh my! Wow. All right. So well, that's the English D for Detroit, but that doesn't look like Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Look at the stitching. It's incredible. Look at what is, the What's up with these? Those are all those hand are, embroidered. Those are hand embroidered 3D. I think that's incredible. This is, that's these pretty are weird. Embroidered. Look at the stitching in here. I might just steal this oh, one. Oh, look at this. Yeah, thread painting. Uh-huh. 
Uh, no, it, 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 it's all over the place. Yes. Oh, and then the that's, flowers. Are, this is kind of yeah, that's a fabric. That's a mash or something. Yeah, yeah that's a fabric. fabric mash, yeah. But then the flowers are all embroidered beautifully. Yeah, this well, one might even surpass Australia. Who knows? It will be close. But D Dublin. So what does it say? <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to we're, guess we're in where the ballpark. this is. Yes, yes. Dublin. So it is. Oh, we already it's, said it's that. For, it's it? for Ireland, yeah. and there's an Irish blessing on the back. Okay. Oh. Should we look at the back? What's up with the back? Oh, this is embroidered too, but this is an hand embroidered. No, that's machine. May green be the. Crash you walk on, and blue that's... be the skies above you, pure be the joys that surround you, true be the hearts that love you. Oh, that's delightful. Mm -hmm. An old Irish blessing. Delightful has lost its end. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, that was kind of the point here. If I there was a point. I love the 3D. Mm -hmm. The yeah. 3D yeah. is I pretty spectacular, yeah. I mean, well, you look at here, there's, there's the bullion stitch with yeah. the lazy daisy stitch. I mean... Your feather stitches and different. Well, and also all of these guys. Yeah, yeah. all, those all the French knots. Look at these little babies. The seed. The mushrooms. Oh, the, the mushrooms. Wow. Look at all those freaking French knots. Mm -hmm. Oh my. I know, God. right? <laughs> no, thank you. This person worked hard finding this fabric. Mm -hmm. This is neck quilt shop fabric. Unless they took cheesecloth and dyed it. That could be too. Prob I betcha. That's, That's also an do. effort, yeah. Because it's up here in the blue also. Mm -hmm. And then you have... It's up there. Yeah, it's yeah. in the sky. I'll bet that's exactly that's what they did. That's what's giving it the color. Mm -hmm. Because that's the texture that it has for mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is beautiful. Nice. It is and beautiful. I love it on this. I love mm -hmm. oh, the, the linen. linen. The linen. Well, I have one word to describe this. Wow. This is, this is amazing. All the different techniques in it. I mean, there's beading, there's amazing embroidery, three-dimensional work, uh, what looks like it was dyeing of, of fabric. Um, it's just over the top, and I want it. I'm Irish. I want it. It should be mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's super duper delightful. I, I cannot imagine doing these leaves. This um, use of the, uh, um, what's the, what do you call it? Cheesecloth. Cheesecloth. Uh, it's very cheesy, but beautiful. And all these little um, embellishments here are delightful. It's got a nice arc of the flowers. Uh, nice, nice uh, you know, artistic design in general. This is absolutely the most gorgeous example of many types of embroidery that I have seen in a long time. Uh, execution is perfect. Look at the three dimension that she uses, the beading, the bullion stitches with the lazy daisy stitches, those are great. The tree with the Celtic uh, design in it is just perfect. Um, I like the way that she has it designed. You have your picture, and then on the outside, you have all these beautiful, beautiful flowers and embroidery. I love what she did with the cheesecloth that looks like it's dyed. The fabrics that she used are tonals, just wonderful tonals. They, the grass is coming through. The mountains, the variation of the mountains are coming through, and the sky. It is just beautiful design beautifully executed. Hey, We're the final hi. four at the final you four. You are the final four. Oh, <laughs> woo! <laughs> the other ones, I was kind of, um, I was surprised. I loved, I loved Emily's and I loved Becky's and, and I, I liked Terry's but I loved Becky's I think because it was my city. It was my Breckenridge. And she, she, I thought she nailed it. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. It's what I look to do in the future.
<laughs> you are the final four. All right. Um, final four day. The judges oh, loved shit. this month. It was by far their favorite month. Um, you guys have super stepped it up, and the judges reacted very well to that. So this month, you had the challenge of incorporating embroidery thread into a place that you may or may not ever want to visit. And so <laughs> and, and you did a fantastic job. All righty. So we have a top two. So will Twyla and Emily please step forward? These judges have really like twisted my way of thinking to the point where like like I told you a minute ago, like I just have to do my thing and if I like it, great. If they don't, you know, I can't let that be um, like a downer for me and like what I do artistically. So I'd like to say I'm gonna win the whole darn thing. Cause that would be awesome. And it would make me happy. But I don't know what they're gonna think. I don't know. Emily, the judges loved your use of painting to make an Aboriginal fabric and they loved the 3D aspect of it. The handwork was amazing. The use of different stitches was amazing. They were super impressed with the entire project. Viola, same thing. They loved the amount of different types of stitches you put in, your execution of where you place them and why made perfect sense to them. And both of them were absolutely beautiful pieces. It was also extremely obvious where you were supposed to <laughs> Go. Go. No. So you were going to Ireland and you were going to Australia. There was no question about it. Let's jump on a plane now. So oh, yeah, so let's go. I'm, She's I'm got a passport. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not a real one. one. <laughs> Just take that. Um, so um, congratulations, Twilight. You are the winner of this challenge. Yay. So with the first perfect score of the season. And wow. so oh, congratulations to all the judges. Wow. Love them both. And, but Twilight was the perfect. So I congratulations. Well, um, yeah, good God. <laughs> I, it was fun because it was creative. It was all handwork, and I love to do handwork. And so I dyed my netting, and I, I don't know. I just had fun with it. It was really fun. But I only had two and a half weeks because I have to send mine in early because I live in Georgia. So by the end of the week, my I had not done anything else, and my house looked a mess. Everything was awful. But I got my picture done and I got it in the mail. So I was really happy with it. I really, really loved it and I thought it would do good. But I didn't know it would like be perfect. So I was so happy when they said, you got perfect. So I was really happy. Gee, bottom two. And bottom two. two. <laughs> you want to a forward. So again, even though you were the bottom two, the judges loved everything from from this round. And so congratulations on also being final Yay. four. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so Terry, they mm -hmm. loved your hand embroidery. They loved your colors. They loved everything mm -hmm. except for they weren't a fan of the bows at the bottom. And then um, some of the color choices as far as solids, they felt like it stopped your eye. But otherwise they loved, they knew exactly where they were supposed to be traveling and the hand embroidery was gorgeous. The different types of stitches you used were well done and it all made sense to the judges. And so, yay! And Becky, they loved it. it um, they, they loved the colors and they said that you had the hardest one as far as having those colors. <laughs> so yeah, by far. And they loved your use of using them, especially in a cold place to have all the warm colors. Uh -huh. They were like, what would we have done? They were like, nothing. <laughs> so you did good. Their, their concern was they, by looking at it, they couldn't tell where in specific it was. So they knew it was north, they knew it was cold, but they didn't know if it was Canada or Maine or somewhere like that. And so for that reason, um, you will always have a place at the pot. But unfortunately, Becky, you no longer have a place in the competition. Sorry. No. So I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. So um, our final three will be Emily, Terry, and Twyla. Oh, congratulations! So, <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, 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 oh. You're <laughs> okay. It looks just like Breckenridge. I've been there eight thousand times. <laughs> All right. Obviously, the judges said no. Yeah, no. Obviously it's exactly like Breckenridge. So I was disappointed that she lost because I really, really, really wanted my little town to win something, but it didn't. And it's not that I didn't like Terry's, but I had something special with Breckenridge. Well, I don't think Becky should have lost because 
I feel like she had a more hand embroidery. And I know they said they didn't know it was Breckenridge, Colorado, but I mean, all the pictures I looked up, it looks exactly like them. So I feel like you, just because you didn't know doesn't mean she didn't nail it type of thing. Very surprising. I really didn't think I was going on. I really thought I had made my last piece. <laughs> Twyla has sewn since she was six. I started a year ago, maybe. And Emily is an art teacher and she thinks like an art teacher. So I just, I'm just surprised, very surprised. As to what the judges are looking for, at this point, I really don't know. Um, the reason I thought I might be a little bit safer than another pre person was because I did a lot of embroidery and the other person did very little embroidery but they were more interested in being able to locate the place that I was doing. Um, so I, I have no idea what they're looking for. Personally I could not do it again just because I can't have my dogs be ignored. I am surprised I made it this far. Um, I'm fairly new to quilting so I, I'm happy I made it this far. But this last comp the last two competitions, I spent way too much time. Any final words? Tucker, I'm home again. <laughs>